Natalie, I wanted to talk to you. Get away from me, you freak. I can't believe what an insensitive jerk you are. We go out for dinner and a movie nothing else. And I thought you were such a sweet and sensitive guy, because you didn't try anything. Then I get home, and see where you posted on your Facebook wall that yeah, Natalie was fun in the sack, but she's no Jessica Simpson. How dare you? No. That wasn't me. My ultimate guitar pedal posted that. What an absolute load of horse crap. You're telling me that an inanimate object got on your computer and posted those lies? Yes. Yes, it did. Remember I was telling you about those quality issues last week? I thought you said you were getting rid of it after your fiancé dumped you. I... I tried. I unplugged it, but when I came in the next morning it was plugged back in somehow. So I unplugged it and boxed it up so I could send it back, and the next morning there it was, set up and plugged in. I was so scared that I boxed it up and put it out on the corner and even watched as the garbage truck took it away. The next morning, there it was back in my house, set up, plugged in and running. You actually expect me to believe that? That sounds like the script from a bad Stephen King movie. You don't know the power of the ultimate pedal. It is full of John Mayer's dark and evil mojo. When I'm home I can feel it watching me. I cannot switch it off of the John Mayer preset, no matter how hard I try, and I can hear John's voice inside my head telling me to go and buy his signature model Stratocaster, because I need all the cool case candy that comes with it. Please, give me a second chance. Well, I don't know. Maybe I am being too harsh. Let me think about it. In the meantime you need to do something about that pedal. Call a priest, maybe have an exorcism done. Yes. Maybe I will try that. Oh. One more thing. Yes. Ball liquor donkey slot. You are such a douchebag. Curse you John Mayer.